David and David here. Let's talk about what to do when your iPhone won't connect to Wi-Fi. This could be kind of a tricky problem to diagnose, but the good thing is that you can probably fix it at home, especially if it was working before. Yeah. So first thing to do is figure out, is it a problem with your Wi-Fi or is it a problem with your home Wi-Fi router? So go to a different place, go to McDonald's, the library, a friend's house, anywhere else, and try to connect to Wi-Fi. If your iPhone connects there, but not at your house, you know that it's a problem with your home's Wi-Fi network. And that's what we're really going to talk about in this video, because that's usually what the problem is. Mm -hmm. But if it's a problem with the iPhone, there are different fixes for that. So which one are we going to start with, David? Well, let's start with just turning Wi-Fi off and back on. Okay, yeah. So we'll start with the iPhone fixes. Nice and easy. Open settings. Tap Wi-Fi. And turn off the switch at the top of the screen next to Wi-Fi. Wait a few seconds, I suppose. Right. Tap the switch. Turn it back on. See if it works now. Next, restart your iPhone and restart your router. The router is pretty easy. Just unplug it from the wall, plug it back in. Not super technical, but it uh, gets the e job done. Effective. Effective. Absolutely. And then for your iPhone, let's tap back to settings. Tap general and scroll all the way down. And just tap shut down. Swipe the power icon left to right. Wait 30 seconds. Turn your iPhone back on. See if Wi-Fi is working now. If that worked, great. If not, what's our next step? We're gonna check for an iOS update. iOS updates solve little software bugs that sometimes can prevent your iPhone from connecting to Wi-Fi. Let's check out software update. Yep, so if you're in settings in general, right at the top of the screen, tap software update. If there's an update available, tap download and install. If you update your iPhone and still not working, next thing to do is forget your home Wi-Fi network. I'll tap back to general, back to settings, tap on Wi-Fi, then tap the blue eye next to the network you want to forget, and then tap forget this network. When you connect your iPhone to a Wi-Fi network for the very first time, it saves information on how to connect to that network, and if something there changes, it might not work, even if you've been using the network forever. Yep, things can change. Forget the network. Tap forget this network, tap forget. Yep. I'm not gonna do it right now. <laughs> not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Yep. Not telling you my password again. Next, if your iPhone won't connect to your home Wi-Fi network, but it will connect to other Wi-Fi networks, what we wanna do is Check to make sure that the settings on your home Wi-Fi router are what Apple recommends. So there's an Apple website that we'll link to in the card above in the description section below where you can check out those settings. If you're not sure how to log into your router, go to Google and type in your router model number and the brand and how to log in because every router is a little bit different in terms of getting in there. And then there are some security settings that you should check but also those same security settings have as much to do with security as they do with reliability and performance and speed and this type of thing. So sometimes Wi-Fi routers can get confused, just like iPhones can get confused, just like I can get confused. Yes. Can't we all? I don't know. Yep. Next, confused. <laughs> next, let's do a reset network settings. This will erase all of your Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, cellular, and VPN settings back to factory defaults. So you have to re-enter your Wi-Fi passwords reconnect those Bluetooth devices, reconfigure your VPN. A little bit of a hassle, right. but it can fix Wi-Fi issues. And this is if your iPhone will connect to any Wi-Fi networks, yeah. right? And then the parallel fix, if your iPhone won't connect to just your home network, yeah. reset your Wi-Fi router. So before we do that, should we show people how to reset network settings? Yes. Sort of skipped uh, over that one. Yeah, let's tap back to Wi-Fi, back to settings, tap general, Scroll all the way down to reset, tap reset, and then tap reset network settings. You'll have to enter your passcode, tap reset network settings again to confirm your decision, and then the reset will happen, and then you'll have to go through the hassle of connecting all your Bluetooth devices and Wi-Fi networks again, which but is it, no fun. Yeah, but it's not as much of a hassle as it could be. So on the router side of things, again, Google router number, how to reset to factory defaults. You'll get instructions there. Then you're going to have to set up your Wi-Fi router again, but sometimes that'll fix the problem. Wi-Fi routers can sometimes remember a device the wrong way, mm -hmm. or if too many devices have connected to it, it thinks that it's already connected. That'll happen sometimes, and then it won't let the device reconnect. Yeah. That was the body language for that. Yeah, and a lot of the time, you know, the reset button is just a reset button on the back. You just press and hold that. That's another way to do it. Yeah. But it's the setting it up that's more difficult. Right. No, what David said is absolutely correct. It's either a button or a little pinhole in the back. So you have to get like a pen and stick it in there for 10 seconds and just keep holding it. Because otherwise it'll just turn off and back on. Yeah. Usually the lights start to blink. It starts going crazy. Yeah. Kind of like the only 7% of people who subscribe to our channel that watch our videos. So please, don't be crazy. Who are you calling a psycho? Be part of the solution 
And please subscribe to our YouTube channel, please. We're trying to get to 9%. That would be great. If your iPhone still won't connect to any Wi-Fi networks, back it up, DFU Restore. DFU Restore. Deepest type of restore you can do on your iPhone. As David said, back it up. Firmware. In between the hard and the soft. Firm. Exactly. Malleable wear. Right. They thought that semi-hardware would be yeah. inappropriate. Confusing. Yes, it's confusing. So that has to do with the software that's built into the Wi-Fi antenna. Can fix the problem. If that doesn't work, time to get your iPhone repaired or get a new iPhone. Go to Apple. Start yeah. complaining to them. Go to a mom and pop shop if you have an older iPhone. A lot of the times, this is kind of a weirdo fix, though. Yeah, I mean, and this is an issue, too, where, you know, Apple might say, contact your router manufacturer, and the router manufacturer might say, go contact Apple. So I would say... I think it's likely. If yeah. it's a home internet issue, contact your router manufacturer or your wireless internet provider. Yeah. If it's every single Wi-Fi network, that's probably an Apple issue. And you exactly. Want to start there. Yep. And if you decide that you want to get a new Wi-Fi router because... Maybe you're getting a low or weak security warning mm -hmm. on your iPhone, or maybe it's just slow and unreliable. Check out some of our recommendations in the description section below in the card up above. And that's pretty much it. That's it. That's what to do when your iPhone won't connect to Wi-Fi. Thanks for watching. As he said, let's get to 9%. Subscribe. 9%. Rate. We have lofty great. goals. High goals. 9%. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's a lot for us. Leave a comment down below if you need any more help. We'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. And thanks for watching. Thank you.